so Brooklyn, you recently did two shoots that, um, it's funny, both were produced by me, but neither one was shot by me, <laughs> but they were both amazing shoots. And, um, I guess let's start with the twisties treat of the month shoot. And just to explain to our audience, because a lot of you know her, um, Eva, uh, shot you for Twisty's Treat of the Month. Um, she's rebranded as Stella Smut, just FYI. So if you guys are looking for her online, that's her new brand. Um, but yeah, so she did your Twisty's Treat of the Month shoot, which was quite a feat to pull off. I remember getting the script and being like, oh, fucking shit. They want like these huge swaths of fabric, like draped from like the ceiling. And it was a whole thing to get the location and, and set everything up. And I felt really bad too, because like after, or when they were on set, I realized like you should have had an art director on set because like there was a lot to do and, and her and Jordan and everybody yeah, else. That had was to a do hefty it. job. Yeah. It was too much. They should have had an art director. And I felt bad it, afterwards. Like, I was like, you guys should have had more people. That was my bad. I should have insisted on that. But, um, but tell me about the shoot. Cause it came out like every- amazing. Oh, I just watched the whole, tr- the solo montage bit and it looks absolutely beautiful. I like mm. could not have accounted for how beautifully this came out. I, I like want to share it all over the internet. It's just not safe for work. So I can't put clips on Instagram, but um, that was a really incredible experience. And like you said, there was so much that went into it and being there that day it was a two-day shoot the first one was just the girl girl which was awesome because it was skateboard themed and I actually do skateboard and I felt like it was very much my vibe and very grungy very there was it was in a graffitied warehouse like dirty grimy was so here for everything I got to work with Ayla Donovan who was also lovely my first time meeting her and she is so sweet and so wonderful to perform with um but the second day was when everything needed to happen in terms of art direction so needless to say it was a very long day <laughs> but I'm surprised that but it couldn't told- it couldn't be too long well, because you guys couldn't go over 12 hours. Otherwise, the overtime was like insane. I was like, Eva, like, don't go over fucking 12 hours. Oh, yeah. It was like $300 an hour. One, and they are the kind of people that, no joke, if you go one minute over overtime, one fucking minute, they will charge you the whole hour. They never give you a break. Oh, They're shit. really strict about that. So I was like, this needs to be done Damn. in 12 hours. So they really, yeah, rocked we, we, if it was 12 hours, we were definitely there for a full 12 hours. There's no, oh, yeah. way we, we wrapped sooner than that. Um, yeah. <laughs> but I just remember we were starting the day and I was upstairs. Rosalind did my makeup and I was getting out wardrobe and I could, I hadn't worked with that crew yet. And I could kind of tell that everyone was, was trying to tackle a lot and trying to figure out how the fuck we were supposed to do, or they were supposed to do all of that in in an empty warehouse. And I was trying to make it easier for people. I know that my outfits needed to be picked out. So I like laid out all my outfits. And um, I know that Eva, now Stella, was supposed to come upstairs and like help me pick out my outfit, but it was taking a little longer than it was supposed to downstairs. So I thought it was being really helpful. And I grabbed a couple outfits and I went downstairs and I was like, Hey, I don't know if this is going to make it easier for you, but which one do you want to see on me? And I could tell that everyone was flustered because she was like, I need you to go back upstairs. Like I'll be with you in a moment, but this is a lot more than I think we all expected. So I was watching everyone work their asses off to, to make this huge fantasy of a set a reality and they did and um just watching it happen was was really cool and really inspiring because it's I I didn't even think that that would be possible I they I had seen pictures of what um they got on the script what it was supposed to look like and I was expecting it to be a good enough version I saw how daunting it looked to mm. set up and when I came downstairs and it was fully set up I was truly blown away 
the the lighting was mm. incredible the the sheer fabric coming down in all different places was so cool and um the first look I got to be on a stage so they set up they built this entire stage and draped the fabrics down and I got to play in the fabrics and it felt it felt really good being up on that stage and having what it felt like stage lights and I, it, the lights were so bright up there that I couldn't even see what was going on in the rest of the warehouse. So it kind of felt like I was in a different reality for a moment. It was very surreal, which was very cool. Um, there was a lot of fabric that day. There was fabric with the first look. And then there was <laughs> fabric that came off of my actual corset in the third look. And then I was tied up in ribbon for the third look. It was-, it was a very fabric forward day. Yeah. I think it was like five hundred dollars in fabric. Like the, the cost oh, is insane. Bet. Yeah, 